Hey y'all, it's Brady. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, we're going to sit down and finally get back to another Talk To Me Tuesday. So, I am still trying to get this lighting right. Uh, it is pouring down rain here, and so uh, the lighting is really weird. I'm really hoping that the shadows aren't too distracting and that this is going to work. I am sitting here in the living room, sitting at my desk, and I just wanted to check in with y'all and let's get back to our Talk To Me Tuesdays videos. Um, we pretty much didn't do them for March and I miss them. I miss sitting down and chatting with y'all and um, I've done some chatting with the car vlogs and Day in the Life stuff I've done lately, but um, I know that y'all have been asking and I have been ready to get back to Talk To Me Tuesdays. So, hopefully uh, everything lighting-wise and all of that works out and we are good to go here. And um, I am actually, it is, yeah, I've got about 30 minutes until um, I have to log into my classes. And so, I just wanted to jump in and talk to y'all. So, uh, as an aside, so you may hear the laundry going, you may hear the dog barking, but you know, real life, y'all know the deal. Uh, so anyways, let's just talk about what's, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, if you didn't, if you missed it, if you missed my big announcement that went up Monday, which was yesterday, because I think I'm going to get this filmed and up the same day. So if you missed it, um, my big announcement, go back and watch that video because it is a fun to me, chatty car, car vlog, talking about all the things. Um, but... Um, the big deal is that I am going to nursing school. I did get accepted into the program that I applied for, and I've gotten quite a few questions on that, uh, car vlog where I made that announcement yesterday, so I thought I would just kind of cover a couple of those questions here. We'll talk about what's been going on the last week or two here, and then what it looks like the week ahead, and, um... Yeah, and then I think that that'll be what we have today. So, um, I have, one of the questions is, am I going for an RN or an LPN? I am going for an RN. It will be four semesters. Um, and honestly, then after that, I'm only about two semesters away if I wanted to continue towards my BSN. This will be my ADN RN, which is an associate's degree. But while I was waiting to get into this program, I was continuing to take classes that will count towards a BSN. So I am ahead of the game if and when I choose to continue uh, my BSN, um, which is my bachelor's degree. So most of the hospitals and employers like doctor's offices and all of that around here only require that you are an RN and do not require the BSN. I do know a lot of hospitals though are going for magnet status and all these different things. And so they are wanting you to have a BSN. However, around here, they will hire you with an ADN. And so a lot of them also will pay either part of or most or all of um, you going towards your BSN like online or something while you're working for them. It's usually like a, a year or two year commitment that you'll work for them afterwards, um, you know, something like that. So. That's everything there. If you saw the um, vlog, then you saw that um, you heard me talk about a lot of the things that I had to get done, and I am still finishing up some of those things. That video was filmed last week. Um, the announcement video and, and car vlog, that was filmed last week. So moving into this week, I'm still working on a lot of those requirements. I did find out that the TB test has to be a two-step, so I have gotten the first one administered and went back and got it read. Of course, I don't have TB, and then um, I will have to go back at the end of the week or over the weekend and get another one administered. Two days later, I'll go back and get it read, and then that part of the physical and TB skin test thing will be done. Um, and a lot of you, several of you commented that if you are in the medical field, that you had to have it done twice too. So, um, I'm glad to know that's not an error that they're just, you know, cause nursing school does make up some stuff. 
that an employer would not require. Uh, but they did not on this one, it appears. Um, it is starting to rain again. Let me grab my dog and then I'll jump back in. All right, I'm back. <laughs> it started to pick up raining again and um, we I had let the dog out to go potty. So, anyways, um, so I am still working on getting all of my requirements done. I'm officially in the program. I've accepted my seat. All of that is good to go. I have orientation in a few weeks, but they, I think I touched on this too in there, um, that the clinical placements, some of them are over an hour from my house and the quicker you get your clinical um, requirements done and completed is like, they're kind of like first come first serve on you getting the assignments that you want, the placement that you want for clinicals. Um, that is a big factor in that. So, um, so I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible. So they are hosting at one of the campuses that's about an hour from me. They are hosting uh, the CPR certification, the BLS class that day, uh, or I think in a cut like a week or two. Yeah, it's next week. Um, but I am going to hopefully do the one that is here in my town. Um, so it's closer and quicker to get that done. So that's kind of my plan. I may vlog that day. We'll just have to see. Um, and I think what I'm going to end up doing is making like a playlist of, it'll be yesterday's vlog plus, um, any future vlogs. Like I'm hoping to vlog at orientation that day. Um, and then my first day. And then I think moving on after that, I think I'm going to try to do like a week in the life vlog. So it'll just kind of be a compilation of the whole week snippets of whatever I can film of being in nursing school and I'm hoping to be able to share that once a week or so with y'all um just so that I can not only to share with y'all but also to chronicle for myself and have that footage to look back on and um so I'm thinking I'll make a playlist so that you know in the future anyone new can kind of follow the whole journey or if you've missed any of these videos you know you can go back and find them easily and kind of watch the whole process. Uh, I will also do a nursing school supply haul. Um, I may split it up, but I'll definitely do a nursing school supply haul because I know for a fact I have to get scrubs for clinicals. That's our uniform plus, you know, like my lab coat and shoes, compression socks, all of that. Then I have to get um, either more of those scrubs that are our uniform or just any general color to wear to la like skills lab each week. And then I need to get, of course, all of my textbooks, you know, paper and pens and all these things, um, depending on how it works out. I may also get a new computer. Uh, we'll just kind of see how that goes. And then I also will need, you know, a stethoscope and a blood pressure cuff and all the things that go with that. So there'll be a haul for that. Um, and then I'm still planning, I'll do the kids back to school hauls and um, we may do a clothing haul. We'll see. Um, it just kind of, we'll see from there. Uh, one of the things that I still need to get done and that I'm planning to do in this upcoming week is I still need to get an outfit, like a business casual outfit to wear to, I'm getting a phone call, sorry y'all, um, to wear to orientation because I want to look put together. You know, it's the first impression of actually meeting our instructors and the director of nursing and uh, my classmates and that sort of thing. So that's exciting. And I just want to make, you know, a good, put a f good first foot forward there. So I'll do that. And then, um, exciting we are actually going to the garth brooks concert this weekend so um it's about an hour from our house in nashville um so we are going to be going to that it is a rain or shine event hopefully uh if you missed our last video last year where we tried to go um to the garth brooks concert that was in nashville 
you then you know that it did not turn out well. The thunder rolled indeed, and um, we did not get to complete that concert. We actually never saw Garth Brooks. They called it and canceled it, you know, and we stood around for two hours, and then they let us go, but we had taken an Uber, and so then we had to wait on an Uber, and where they make you wait on an Uber, it's, you just get soaking wet. So, uh, it is not supposed to rain this weekend. We'll see. Um, but it's not supposed to rain, but I'm still going to get some of those plastic ponchos that fold up from the Dollar Tree. So I need to go this week sometime, um, and get that. And so that we're ready to go for that. Um, we're not taking an Uber this time. We are going to drive and, um, grandparents are going to watch the kiddos so that we can go. And I'm pretty excited. We've even got better seats this time than last time. So hopefully it all works out well. Um, I just, yeah, if you, if you've not seen that video, that uh, chit chat video where I shared with you some of the footage and some of what happened, then I will, um, link that either up above or at the end of the video. Uh, so you can click on that and watch that. Uh, it is quite an interesting story, you know, um, typical my husband of me and my husband, like we can make any f situation fun though. So like we were literally drowning in the rain for hours and still laughing. And I mean, cause you in that moment, you're either going to laugh or cry. I mean, really? So it, you know, it was fine. Uh, it all, it was a story to tell, uh, for sure. So anyways, hopefully it does not do that this weekend though. And this will go off without a hitch. Uh, what else do we have upcoming this week? I have a quiz for my marriage and family sociology class. I have uh, more reading. We're, I'm doing um, Honors World Lit this semester as well. So I have got, we are covering like the Diary of Anne Frank right now, which I read in middle school or freshman year of high school. It may, I think it may have even been younger than that. I don't know. But we're not reading the whole thing. We're reading snippets and then discussing. So that's what we're working on this week for that. And honestly, then I've only got, I'm looking at my calendar here on my computer. So counting this week, I only have three weeks of my college semester left. Of course, the girls have um, elementary school through the end of May. Yeah, they get out towards the end of May. So, um, I'll have about a month of just doing, you know, getting the house in order, getting caught up, working on YouTube stuff, uh, before the, um, before the girls get out of school and then we'll kind of switch to our summer schedule. So, that's what I've got going on this week. Last week and the week before, I think I shared with y'all uh, before our Sam's Club haul that we had all gotten the stomach virus. Of course, we were all better by then when I went to get the Sam's Club haul, so I wasn't going to take that out and infect the world, you know. Um, but we were all better then, and then, of course, I lost my voice. And you can still hear, it's still kind of raspy from time to time, but it's a lot better than it was and we all feel good. So that's a blessing for sure. And I have just been kind of running around like crazy as I shared in those uh, vlogs with you from last week. And this week we, oh, this past weekend we celebrated my daughter's eighth birthday. We actually took her we met up with grandparents and um, my aunt and my cousin, and we took the girls to a local bowling alley, and um, it's like a bowling alley, and then they also have arcades and stuff, and um, it that was an absolute blast. We were there a lot longer than we anticipated. Um, we were there about four hours, and it was so much fun. So much fun. Um, I think we may end up making the, uh, like, a just even just going to our local bowling alley that's not the arcade and everything. Um, we may end up making that like a family monthly outing or something because all four of us thoroughly enjoyed it. And then we spent Sunday, uh, that was what we did on Saturday. 
I made her cake. So actually, before I tell you about Sunday, let me pop in some pictures here that I took of her cake that I made. She requested a rainbow cake, so you can see that here. Okay, so um, it is not, you know, like professional level, um, but I'm, I'm working on it. And so my baby wanted a rainbow cake and that is what she got. Uh, I ran out of batter to do the uh, red and then I forgot to get yellow. So it ended up being pink, orange, purple, blue, and green. And she absolutely loved it. I made a homemade buttercream and it was awesome. Uh, she absolutely loved it. It was a huge hit. Um, so I'm really glad about that. Uh, funny enough that the cake box that I bought that day at Hobby Lobby, yeah, none of those fit that cake. It was way too tall. Um, and so that was interesting trying to get it to the bowling alley, uh, like it was, but it, it worked out well. Um, and then what else? So, so now that I've told you about her birthday and all of that Sunday, we spent the day pretty much the entire day. Like we cleaned up a little bit in the house, had some lunch. And then, um, we actually were outside from about two o'clock in the afternoon until bedtime. We literally came in the house with enough time to, um, eat, put the girls in the bathtub and then put them to bed. So, uh, probably until about 45 minutes before bedtime. Cause we just sped through the bedtime routine and we spent the day outside. So we had to mow and weed eat. And it was the first time of us mowing for the season. So it's always a bigger deal. We had a lot to weed eat down a lot of leaves that were gathered still that needed to be raked off. We, um, we weeded and seeded for the grass and I ended up going to Lowe's twice and I bought plants, uh, a few plants because they wanted them three for $12 for each individual, like one plant per container. I bought a few because I wanted to go ahead and plant some strawberries and I'm kind of running out of time to do that here. So I did go ahead and buy a few strawberry plants, a couple of peppers, a couple of tomatoes, and then we're going to do everything else from that we will do in the garden from seed. We're not doing a huge garden. We're just going to do a small container garden of a couple of containers. Um, I'm hoping next year that we will do a more robust garden, but this year, um, we're just, we're just not. Uh, I didn't get that, I didn't get that much planned out this year. Uh, so anyway, so we spent the whole day outside, then we grilled I grilled chicken for my lunches for the week. Uh, we also grilled the hamburgers and hot dogs and um, brats. So uh, I made some macaroni and cheese and then had some chips with it. And then we had leftovers of that last night. And it was just an absolute, absolute wonderful day. We were worn out <laughs> come yesterday morning to get back into the routine of the day um, of the week, you know, and back to schedule. But it... It was such a good weekend, such a good weekend, and it was much, much needed. Uh, my husband's been working a ton of overtime, and so there just hasn't been a lot of, like, family downtime lately. We've just all been so busy. So, honestly, it was just really nice to be able to sit down or even just be outside active. I mean, the kids just played and helped us do yard work, and they really enjoyed being outside. It was beautiful. It was like 75 degrees Sunday. Uh, it was wonderful. So it's going to rain all this week through Thursday, I think it is here. So it was nice that we got out. And then this weekend, of course, we've got Easter coming up. We've got uh, the concert coming up. And then we've also got a couple of projects around the house we want to take care of. So we'll see how much extra stuff we get done Easter, we're not doing a big traditional Easter dinner this year. Um, I think, honestly, we're just going to pick up some, like, fried chicken from somewhere and maybe make some sides to go with it, and that's going to be that. We're not doing a big, big dinner. 
Um, we're just going to do, you know, like an egg hunt here at the house for the kids and um, just kind of hang out together as a family, which I'm really looking forward to. And I think that's everything that I've got to catch all up on. And uh, so leave me a comment down below. Do you have any questions you would like for me to answer next week in Talk To Me Tuesday? Do you have any video ideas you would like for me to do? If you are new and you've made it to the end of the video, wow, I'm so honored and so glad that you are here. If you are new or not new and you've just never said hello before, please say hello down in the comment box. I genuinely love connecting with y'all in the comments. That is honestly one of the very best parts of YouTube to me is getting to meet all of y'all and connect with y'all. It is really, really awesome. Um, but I am so thankful that you are here. If you are returning, I am so glad that you have come back. And if you've made it to the end of this video, leave me a heart emoji. Uh, yeah, let's do a heart emoji. Any color is fine. Um, in the comments down below so that I know you made it this far. And until our next video, y'all, I will see you in the comments down below. Bye, y'all.